Game balance is always going to be a tricky topic when it comes to Pokemon Go's PvP. In certain metas, there's going to be certain Pokemon that are going to excel over others, and they're going to be frequently used by the average player. At the same time, it's always going to be difficult to find off-meta picks that are actually going to be viable. And I really feel like this has always been a struggle with Pokemon Go's PvP, that the meta tends to shift towards very specific Pokemon, and then there's not really any kind of variance outside of that but I think if we take a look at the Great League you can see that this is not always going to be the case yes when it comes to the Great League there's always going to be certain Pokemon that every player is going to use but there's also a lot of other Pokemon that tend to shake up the meta and I really feel like this is because there's just a higher variance and a higher pool of counters that players can use and they can easily obtain this is unfortunately not the case with the Master League but I believe along with many others in the community that this is because there's a lack of fire types that are viable for the Master League. And I really feel like if Niantic addresses this, the Master League and even the Ultra League are going to be much more enjoyable to the average player. But in any case, yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Let's get right into it. <laughs> How's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today I want to talk about the Master League considering that as of right now there really isn't much in terms of the meta. I mean there's a couple of Pokemon that you could always go with but outside of those Pokemon there really isn't too much variance. Now over time we've seen drastic improvements to the Great League and the Ultra League when it comes to the meta. There has been a lot more flavorful picks that players could utilize and I really feel like I want to highlight like this in comparison to the Master League because for four seasons now we've pretty much seen the exact same meta over dominate the Master League and I really feel like this is a problem considering that for a lot of players they do not have access to a lot of these meta Pokemon so when it comes to the Master League it's extremely unbalanced towards players who have a lot of the meta Pokemon at their disposal. Now one thing I noticed along with many others in the community is that a lot of these Pokemon in the Master League that are currently dominating are weak against fire types so if we were to have a fire type that is viable in the master league I think it could shake up the meta quite well I mean to be honest with you guys the way it feels right now with the master league imagine rock paper scissors but they took out paper that means rock is always going to be really dominant and uh, yeah that's just how it's been right now I mean if they added some fire types I think it could make the master league just that much better in the Great League and Ultra League, we have plenty of viable fire types at our disposal. Like in the Great League, we have Alolan Marowak, and then of course in the Ultra League, we have Charizard as well. And a lot of these fire types make frequent appearances, mainly because there's a lot of steel types and a lot of grass types in those metas. And it ultimately creates this better balance. You can't just fill up your team with a whole bunch of grass shadow types like you see in the Great League and expect to do well, because there's a lot of fire types and a lot of flying types that you will have to watch out for. And the same thing goes for the Ultra League considering that Venusaur can be a very powerful Pokemon in the Ultra League, but because there is Charizard you can't just abuse it. But something like that doesn't necessarily exist within the Master League. You see a lot of Metagrosses and a lot of Dialgas just dominate the meta, but there isn't that many fire types that you could use at your disposal. Sure, there are Pokemon with fire type moves, but a lot of those Pokemon get hard countered by Metagross and Dialga anyway. Which is why I think a key missing component to the Master League meta is a very decent fire type that could be something that a lot of players have access to. It may not necessarily have to be a legendary, but there are plenty of fire types that could be viable in the Master League, but because of their move pool or because of their stats, they're just hardly ever used. And I really feel like Niantic needs to address this. As many of us know by now, a Pokemon's effectiveness in PvP can swing very heavily depending 
depending on any additional moves that are added to it. We've seen this plenty of times in the past where a Pokemon that's just not viable for any of the leagues suddenly becomes a powerful pick mainly because it received a new move. And I really feel like this is something Niantic could do for our fire types in the Master League. I think Arcanine is something that comes up a lot in conversation. It has the potential to be the Swampert of fire types, but unfortunately its move pool is just lackluster. So if Niantic were to give it some powerful fire type moves or some sort of move that could make it viable again, I really think this is something that Niantic should explore. Because as of right now, the Master League is just not that fun. I would argue and even say that the Master League is the worst out of the three leagues, mainly because when it comes to the Ultra League as well as the Great League, I feel like the meta is just a lot more diverse and there's just a lot more picks. But when it comes to the Master League, it is completely dominated by the same three or four Pokemon and it's starting to get stale and it's starting to get really old. One particular Pokemon that comes to mind that could definitely leave a good impact on the Master League is of course Heatran. Now recently with Heatran's re-release it did receive a little bit of a buff when it comes to its move pool. It did receive Flamethrower which makes it a lot more viable in the Master League. But of course it's not necessarily going to be the top pick that a lot of players are going to go to. So even though I mentioned Arcanine, Heatran is also a Pokemon that could definitely shake things up in the Master League as long as Niantic is able to give it a bit of a balance balance and uh, yeah, make it a lot more viable. And when it comes to the Premier League versions of the Ultra League and the Master League, we definitely see a lot more variants, but even in these game modes, you tend to see the same Pokemon pop up over and over again in these as well. So I really feel like Niantic just needs to look at what they have available and what players desperately want to be viable, like some fan favorites, and then boost these Pokemon so that they make a splash in these various leagues. I would absolutely love to see more diversity in the Master League, considering that there are more possibilities for a lot of Pokemon to shine in the Master League, but because Niantic hasn't really done too much to shake up the Master League, that it's just ending up being the same three or four Pokemon and it's really getting boring. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've come across the same three Pokemon in the Master League, and I've tried to build teams around them, like try to build off meta counter teams and they tend to not perform really well considering that the algorithm tends to match up against you. So I tend to get hard countered more often than not, but it'd be really nice if I could have a safe switch that has a strong counter to some of these meta Pokemon in the Master League. Unfortunately, we just do not have that right now. There's just a very stark difference between the Master League and the Ultra League and Great League. Like even the Ultra League, I think still has some meta issues, but it's definitely a lot better than the Master League. And when it comes to the Great League, I feel like it is the gold standard for how it should be. The Great League just has a really diverse meta and it's just really fun to go up against other players. Because when it comes to the Great League, you really do not know what you're going to end up going up against. I mean, there's plenty of Pokemon that you will see very commonly like Azumarill and Skarmory and some of the quote-unquote Grasshole teams as well, but there's just a lot of variants and there's just a lot of different ways you could build your Great League teams for success. And I really wish this was something that we could have for the Ultra League and Master League, but when it comes to the Master League, I really feel like all they have to do is give us a viable fire type and we should be good to go. Again, maybe all they have to do is give Arcanine some sort of really powerful move that could give it a lot more type coverage and could give it some powerful hits. And I really feel like this is something that Niantic should explore in the coming days. I mean, with every season, they tend to do a little bit of a balance rework by giving certain Pokemon certain moves. And I really feel like Niantic needs needs to prioritize fire types in the upcoming season because I really feel like the Master League has a lot of potential to be the most fun considering that it is the most intimidating meta out of all of the different leagues but I really feel like the Master League is where it's at. I've had a lot of fun in the past with the Master League. It's just unfortunate that it's just not really that much variance in the meta so it's always going to be the same couple of Pokemon and it's just 
yeah, it's just getting really stale. But for the most part, I think Niantic has been doing a better job when it comes to PvP balance. I mean, when it comes to this particular season, the Great League had a lot of different Pokemon that were introduced into the meta, and I really think that's a healthy and good thing. Of course, a lot of players are going to complain about these new Pokemon, but that's a very good problem to have, considering that now players have to be on their toes, and they have to continuously experiment, they have to continuously try out different Different builds and that's always going to be a good thing it adds a lot of strategy and it adds a lot of planning and I really think this is something that's good for PvP unfortunately we do not really have that for the Master League and I really think this is something that Niantic needs to address but yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts regarding this, considering that right now I've been trying to grind through the Master League to at least hit rank 8. I'm not someone who grinds out for rank 10 every season, and uh, yeah, I mean, maybe very soon here I will be pushing for PvP a lot harder, considering that I've been thinking about it a lot more. But this is just some of the things that I've observed when it comes to the Master League. I just really think there's a lot of potential with the Master League, but Niantic hasn't really been meeting those potentials for quite a while now. So. I really wanted to give some constructive feedback and just talk about what I think are the main issues with the Master League and how it can be fixed. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Definitely leave your thoughts down below. I would love to have a discussion regarding this, especially for the battlers who watch my channel. I know I don't produce a lot of PvP content on my channel. I'm more discussion based and I talk more about the general gameplay of Pokemon Go. But I would definitely love to dive into PvP, considering that it is a very big core of this game right now but yeah hope you enjoyed this video everyone i am count jinsula be safe have fun and i'll catch you all later